Hi, this is a quick little video that compares the difference between um, Puffer Train Challenge Light Mode and Puffer Train Challenge Full Mode. Both things, uh, both games are available in the App Store. And we're going to take a look at basically the main difference. Uh, first of all, in Light Mode, you notice that there's little advertisements you'll see on the bottom. Probably the big difference is in Zen Mode. Zen Mode is the mode where you use a little toy train. Um, in full mode, you would see 16 games down here. Up here, we see uh, 12. This is the mode on level four here. I can try moving around, trying to figure out what's the best way to uh, solve this particular level. Just personal preference. I found I like to put all the little curvy pieces together at the bottom. Remember, we're in Zen mode. I can take as many moves as I want. But in Star mode, each move counts for one swipe. So each swipe, if I move in one complete move, would only cost me one. In full mode, I would know this at the bottom because there's a counter. So, just like in both modes, you can go ahead and use Zen mode to figure out the best way to run. Once you see that you've run and won the puzzle, now game level five is open, but I'm gonna go back and go to my full mode and try that solution I just figured out. So, I'll move these curved tracks at the bottom. Notice something different. I have my undo button. If I'd made a wrong move, I can take that move back. And it's counting up here. I have 15 moves left. So as I move my track, it's counting each one. So I'm taking full swipes, horizontal or vertical, no diagonals, because I'll get fussed at. And I've almost got it here. All right, this is star mode, and I've just done the same thing I did in Zen mode. And because I figured out the best moves, I actually not only won three stars here, but um, I got a Casey Jones Award. I could have used one more move. I'd have gotten my three stars, but not the Casey Jones Award. And just like the full mode, Puffer's Train Challenge Lite is uh, fully integrated with the Game Center. I can see I have 12 points. I can see all the other players and how I'm doing. So, let's look at what maybe the differences are. World 1, I only have these, I have these 12 levels here I can play. This is World 2, and I can do Zen mode in the first four. Of course, I have to get up here. You open one level at a time. In the Casey Jones bonus worlds, in Zen mode, I can play the first four. In full mode, I can play them all. And one other thing you'll notice is missing. In the full mode, there's a golden spike sitting over here. Um, there's a way to win what is known as the Golden Spike Award. Opens up a whole other level of worlds, uh, bonus worlds, called the Clementine Bonus Worlds. And those are only available in the full mode. So you can play a lot of Puffer's Train Challenge. All 32 levels in World 1, 16 in World 2, another 16 bonuses um, in uh, Puffer Light. So you can have a lot of fun and I hope you enjoy either Puffer's Train Challenge Light or Puffer's Train Challenge Full, whichever you prefer. By the way, um, just in case uh, you prefer using another language, 
Puffer's Train Challenge is uh, fully integrated and localized in English, Spanish, French, and German. So um, use the language of your choice amongst those four and uh, hopefully we'll have a few more in the future. Thanks for watching and I uh, hope you enjoy playing uh, Puffer's Train Challenge, either Puffer's Train Challenge Lite, which is free, or Puffer's Train Challenge, the full game that you can find in the App Store. Thanks.